In this video, I will talk about the genetics and features of Noonan syndrome. I will start with a case scenario. An 11-year-old boy was referred by his GP for investigation of his short stature. He was born on 50th percentile for height, but on presentation was below the 3rd percentile. As a baby, he suffered from gastroesophageal reflux, recurrent vomiting and failure to thrive. He walked at 22 months. He was thought to be a clumsy child and was diagnosed as dyspraxic. Journal physical examination revealed a prominent chest, low posterior hairline and small volume testes. His bone age was 8 years. Now question number 1 for this scenario is what is the diagnosis? Select one answer only. A. Angelman syndrome B. prader willi syndrome C. beckwith weidman syndrome D. Williams syndrome and E. Noonan syndrome And the correct answer is E. that is Noonan syndrome. Question number 2 for this scenario is what other investigation is essential? Select one answer only. A. Abdominal ultrasound B. Growth hormone assay C. Echocardiography D. ECG E. Serum calcium and the correct answer is C, that is echocardiography. Now I will start with the discussion. Noonan syndrome occur in about 1 in 1000 to 2500 live births. 20% of the cases are familial and have autosomal dominant inheritance. Male and female are equally affected. Now 70% of the cases are due to mutation in the renin angiotensin system mitogen activating protein kinase. 50% of the cases are due to missense mutation in PTPN11, a gene which is present on chromosome 12 for non-receptor protein tyrosine phosphatase SHP2. Now Noonan-like features can be part of the phenotypic variation of NF1 gene mutation which occur in neurofibromatosis. This is possibly as a result of common involvement of the renin angiotensin system mitogen activated protein kinase pathway in both these diseases. Prenatal diagnosis of Noonan syndrome should be suspected in fetuses with normal karyotype, edema or hydrops and short femur length. Now I will discuss the clinical features of Noonan syndrome. Most common abnormalities include short stature, webbing of the neck, pectus carinatum or pectus excavatum, cubitus valgus, right-sided congenital heart disease, particularly pulmonary valvular stenosis. Now, Noonan syndrome has characteristic faces which include hypertelorism, epicanthal folds, downward slanting palpebral fissure, ptosis, micrognathia, and ear abnormalities. Other abnormalities in Noonan syndrome include hypertrophic cardiomyopathy, atrial septal defect, clinodectaly, hepatosplenomegaly, hernias, vertebral anomalies, and high-frequency sensory neural hearing loss. Now, hematological diseases common in Noonan syndrome include low clotting factor 11 and 12, acute lymphoblastic leukemia, and chronic myelomonocytic leukemia. Males with Noonan syndrome frequently have cryptorchidism and small testes. Testosterone secretion may be low or normal, but spermatogenesis is always impaired. Puberty is also delayed. Now, in Noonan syndrome, adult height is achieved by the end of the second decade, and it usually reaches lower limit of the normal population. Mean IQ of the school age children is subnormal at 86, with a range of about 53 to 127. However, verbal IQ is better than performance IQ. Thanks for watching this video. Please like, share, and subscribe to my channel.